Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 250 bucks. I repeat, 250 bucks. So we got a budget phone alert. Now this one comes in black. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 6.5 inch LCD panel with a resolution of 720 by 1600. Now that's 270 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, plastic on the back, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the MediaTek MT6833 with the Mali G57 MC2 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Budget specs, bro, budget specs. Now you got four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 15 watt fast charge. <laughs> for the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, a two megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a five megapixel wide angle lens. Now you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you got a single bottom firing speaker. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, face unlock. You got a side mounted fingerprint sensor and you get a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 250 bucks. What's missing? Pretty much all of the flagship specs. Okay, now this is a budget phone, so we're not gonna talk about wireless charging. We're not gonna talk about you know super fast battery charging. But I will mention two things that is missing. There's no IP rating. Okay, so it's not water resistant and there's no always on display. Other than that, this is a quality budget phone, okay? Now, for the theme of this video, it's 250 bucks. Keep that in the back of your mind. All right, here we go. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. <laughs> Oh, had to get her back for trolling me yesterday. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. 250 bucks, the budget phone deluxe. Okay, now on a side note, I actually used this phone for a couple of days and this is a quality budget phone. Actually, the perfect budget phone if you live in the USA. Now I know people are gonna talk about the Poco phone, the Realme phones, the Redmi phones. This phone will work on all of the carriers in the USA, and you're going to get 5G. Okay, so Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Cricket, Bob's Fish and Chips and Wireless, okay, Julio's 24-hour tire shop and wireless. Whatever you got, this is going to work. So that's one of the benefits of buying the Samsung Galaxy A13. It's going to work on all of your carriers. This is the perfect phone for little kids, perfect phone for your parents, Perfect phone for your scumbag activities. Now, as you can see by the box, no charger, okay? So shout out to Samsung for the consistency. I kind of like that because there's no reason you should be spending a thousand bucks for a Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus, and not getting the charger, and then spending 250 bucks and getting the charger. No, all right? Keep the consistency across the table. No charger for the peasants, no charger for the bosses. All right, it is what it is. When I say peasants, I mean that respectfully. Don't forget to put your fingers like this. When you, whenever you shit on somebody and you call them a peasant, say respectfully, all right? Hashtag peasants unite because I'm a peasant too. That's why I got this 813. Here we go. So inside the box, okay, now this one actually has a sleeve, okay? So when you pull this out, let's see, this is gonna be your usual books and shit, okay? Pluck them and file them. Okay, now they did give you a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. I right, shoes, expect that for quality. That's pretty much it on that. And this is gonna be your device. Let me get this plastic off for dramatic effect. I put it back on. Shoes, calm down. All right, let's get a little wipe down. Bang, here it is. Galaxy A13. The Budget Phone Deluxe. All right, this is the coupe de gras of budget phones. Now, all jokes aside, like I said, I used this for a couple of days. This is actually a really good phone, believe it or not. 
All right, now, I'm going to make you believe it, though. This is a really good phone for 250 bucks. I will say this. The battery is great. But the camera, I, the, the worst thing about this phone is the camera. There's no night mode. Okay, so <laughs> your night shots, they're going to look like potato. Okay, <laughs> there's no there's no bells and whistles on this. This is a lot of basic Samsung phone. Okay, basic. Now, this is not the ultimate Samsung peasant phone. That's the Samsung Galaxy AO2S. All right, that's the supreme peasantry. That one is 129 bucks. I'm not gonna review that one unless y'all really wanna see it. That's more like a straight up throwaway phone. I think if you're gonna get a budget phone for somebody, yourself, your kids, or your parents, you don't wanna be the supreme peasant, okay? Cause those phones are gonna be potato. You wanna get something like this, okay? Now, like I said, all jokes aside, this is a quality budget phone. So I'm gonna pause the video. Let me delete my browsing history. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. And now this is what goes on behind the scenes. You see shoes doing her work, inspecting the cable. Now when I say shoes, all right, it's time for a lunch break. Let me get the cables. Shoes ain't really with that. I wanna put the cable back in the box, okay? Because I'm giving this phone away to one of y'all lucky peasants. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. All right, but I am putting it back in the box. I am gonna give it away. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now just remember the theme of this video it's 250 bucks. Everything that you see on this phone, you can get for 250 bucks, including unlocked on all of your carriers. All right, that's the main thing to take away of this video. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now you got the plastic back. So it doesn't have a premium foam feel to it, but it's definitely more durable than glass. And if you're spending 250 bucks on a phone, you don't want glass. Right? You don't want to drop the phone and the back panel costs more than the phone. Right? This is definitely going to be more durable, perfect for the kids, perfect for your parents who got butterfinger-itis. It just doesn't have that premium feel, but it does feel nice. Right? It doesn't feel super duper cheap like a $250 phone would have felt a couple of years ago. It actually feels pretty good. Okay, feels pretty good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. On the back, there's your triple camera setup. You do have an LED flash, minimum branding, okay? Now, you will get a little bit of smudges, but not much. On one side, here's your power button with the fingerprint sensor embedded into the power button. Now, I actually like this. This is way better than having a, a bullshit on-screen fingerprint sensor. If you're not going to have the top of the line on-screen fingerprint sensor, put it right here on the side. It actually works better than the fingerprint sensor on the A53, believe it or not. Okay, above that, you have volume up and down. On the top, you got a mic. On this side, there's your SIM tray slash micro SD card slot. On the bottom, there's your speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot, and the headphone jack. Now, whenever I mention headphone jacks, I always get the same comment. Oh, why are you complaining about headphone jacks? This is 2022. This is a phone review, all right, bro? This is a phone review. Some people want a headphone jack. Believe it or not, whenever I read the comments, there's always about maybe 10 to 20 comments of people that say, oh, as soon as you said no headphone jack, I stopped watching. The headphone jack, to me, I could really care less. I would rather companies put a USB dongle in the box. Problem solved. But a lot of y'all out there still really want a headphone jack, especially on budget phones, okay? Headphone jack is important. Now, why would a budget phone uh, need a headphone jack, in my opinion? Because these are the throwaway phones. These are the phones that you leave in your car, connected to the aux cable. These are the giveaway phones. These are the phones that you're going to use for utilitarian, uh, <laughs> utilitarian stuff, like connecting it to your DJ controller and leaving it on your DJ, on your little DJ setup. You want a little bullshit phone to have just your music stored on it. A headphone jack is pretty important. But not, to, not a deal breaker for me, but it's there. Okay, had a little wipe down. Next, now no always on display. Okay, no always on display, no wireless charge, no IP rating. All right, so this phone is not water resistant, but at 250 bucks, if it get ruined, who cares? Okay, now check this out. One of the things that I do like about this phone, it does have all of your Samsung features. All right, so I'm able to put my same live wallpapers Okay, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Now you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. 
All right, my bad, y'all. Shoes is back here trolling me. Let's do that one more time. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up your device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got face unlock. All right, so I'm going to try to face unlock. Okay, let me look at the screen. Okay, now I'm trying to do this from behind the camera. All right, there it is, bong. Face unlock. Let's do that one more time. Bong. And you got your side mounted fingerprint sensor, which works super fast and flawless. You see that? Now I'm going to use a different finger. Nothing. Here's how it looks. Bong. Like I said, it actually works better than the on-screen fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy A53. This is the way to go. Okay, they, they did it right. Bong, look at that. Face unlock works good too. Let me do that off camera again. Bong, there it is. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about this uh, live wallpaper. This is beautiful weather. So this is actually the current weather outside. So if you watch the A53 video, I use the same wallpaper. If you notice, it was daytime. That's why the wallpaper was light and it was cloudy. Right now, it's also cloudy. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it's dark. So this wallpaper changes with the time of the day and the weather. I love it, simple and clean. Okay, let me get a little, now this phone does attract a lot of smudges and it is an uh, LCD display, so it's not as bright and vibrant. I'm not sure how many nits, but it's definitely minimum nittage. All right, as far as brightness, you're gonna get minimum nittage. Now, you do have your Google feed, okay, 90 hertz refresh rate. It is pretty smooth. And this phone is surprisingly lag-free for a $250 phone. I think I got more lag on the A53, believe it or not. I would say the Exynos processors are the worst on any phones is Snapdragon, then MediaTek, then Exynos is in last place. This phone actually, believe it or not, it's gonna, it feels like it's performing better than the A53. I hate to say it, but I gotta keep it real. Okay, let's go through some of the basic settings. I'm gonna make this quick. It ain't really too many settings to go through, but you do have your basic toggles. Okay, so you got battery saver. You got nearby share. Let's click on more. Now there's no Dolby Atmos because this is a single bottom firing speaker, but you do have NFC and you do have your secure folders. Okay. Oh, actually, you do have Dolby Atmos. Okay. Let me let me let me let me correct that. Let's turn on Dolby Atmos. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the Dolby Atmos that only works with headphones. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, hold up, did, did they change something? This is the Dolby Atmos that you need headphones. Once you plug in your headphones, then you can use the Dolby Atmos. So you can't really change the the sound signature of this one bottom firing speaker. Now, this is Android 11, okay? Now, they may upgrade it to Android 12. If that's why, if you notice, you don't have the option to hide your mic access and your camera access. That's an Android 12 feature. Okay, let's go to settings. Now, of course, you got uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, VPNs, and private DNS. For 250 bucks, this is all good. All right, this is all good. Let's go to uh, sound and vibration. Okay, let's see, let's go. Okay, you do got sound quality effects. Oh, check this out. You do have an equalizer. Wow, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's put our standard EQ settings. Maximum highs, minimum mids, maximum lows. Bong, just like that. Okay, you, you can have adapt sound. Okay, let's see if you got a separate sound. Oh, check this out. You got the separate sound app. Yo, this is 250 bucks. You're getting a lot of the Samsung ecosystem apps. Surprisingly, now I didn't really play with the settings as much as I should have. I thought that for sure that on these budget phones they wouldn't have them, but <laughs> color me impressed. They actually do have it. Okay. Now one bottom firing speaker. It's it's actually decent. It's actually decent. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, vibration intensity. Nice nice amount of intense intensity on your vibrations. Okay. I'm trying to get my eyes to adjust to looking at LCD panels. Some people say, okay, uh, what's the difference between LCD and AMOLED panels? Oh, you can't really tell? Trust me, <laughs> you, can, you can definitely tell. Now, you can definitely tell. Now, I wear, I'm starting to wear glasses, I'm getting old now. And if you're somebody that wears glasses or your vision is starting to go, you'll notice the difference. This phone just seems a little bit duller. Okay, well, let me, we'll, we'll take a look at the display in a second. Uh, let's see, notifications. You do have your flash notifications. I right, camera flash in the back. Okay, let's go to uh, display. Okay, now this is maximum brightness. Okay, motion smoothness. You got 90 hertz. All right, that's a nice, a good amount of hertz. Let's see, uh, <laughs> you got your edge panels. Now, check this out. You do have edge panels. 
okay? All of the same ones from all your Samsung phones. You can go to Galaxy Store and add more. And if you notice, here's mine right here. So my usual edge panels, the people, you got rectangle oval animation, pin the screen. All of these edge panels work exactly the same as they would work on your $1,000 Galaxy S22. Ultra 5 Gangs Alpha Mega Supreme AK Galactus. Okay, let's keep it moving. Side key. Okay, double press for camera. Pretty much it. Okay, wallpaper and themes. Y'all don't need to see that. We already see um, home screen. Let's see anything to see there. Okay, rotate the landscape mode. On your $250 phone, you could do that. On your $1,200 iPhone, you still can't do that. Okay, you see the you see the difference between Android and iOS. Even on iOS, on your on your most flagship iOS phone, you can't do a lot of the basic things you could do on a two hundred and fifty dollar Android phone. Why are we still having this Android versus iOS debate? I don't know. Android is clearly the superior phone. Do not at me. All right, let's go to our lock screen. Anything to see here? <laughs> <laughs> now, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know, I, I, I gotta remember everybody's not really social media savvy like that. When somebody says "don't at me," that means they they saying something slick. Don't at them in the comments. I right? don't come at me in the comments. When I say "don't at me," that means don't come at me in the comments. I right? I don't want the smoke. <laughs> I, I, and when I say smoke, that means when people say they don't want the smoke, that means they don't want the drama. All right? Now, nah, because believe it or not, I get a lot. I don't. Why do I keep saying believe it or not tonight? <laughs> I don't know. I get a lot of comments, people people sending me DMs like, oh, what do you mean by this? What do you mean by that? People that live in the UK, people that live in Germany, Australia. You know, this is a, YouTube is bigger than the USA. It's worldwide. So a lot of people don't know the kind of thing that are, are USA sl uh, slang words and sayings. And I tend to throw them out there, you know, all willy nilly. <laughs> and I got to remember that some people don't understand what I'm saying. All right. So I'm, I'm going to try to be mindful of that. Okay, anyway, where was we? Okay, anything to see there? Nothing really to see there. Uh, biometrics and security, face unlock, fingerprint sensor. Okay, you got your Google Play Protect, you got private share. Again, a lot of the classic Samsung features that you know and love, they right here on this $250 phone. Now, we can play the drinking game. Every time I say $250 or $250, have a little drink or do 30 push-ups. By the end of this video, you will be drunk or you will be on swole. Let's see uh, advanced feature. Okay, let's see. Uh, continue apps on other devices. Android Auto, Quick Share, Motions and Gestures. Okay, you got Lift or Awake. Double tap to turn on the screen. Double tap to turn it off. Keep the screen on while viewing. Okay, turn over to mute. Three finger gen gestures. Again, a lot of the. Se I'm 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 very impressed with this phone. I really am. I'm really impressed. Let's see. You got Dual Messenger, SOS. Okay, let's go to accessibility. All right, so if you're hearing impaired, everything's on deck. If you're vision impaired, uh, visually impaired, everything is on deck. Now, if you're mentally impaired, <laughs> then you don't need to be playing with phones. Seek medical attention immediately. Let's see anything else. Uh, let's go to software updates. Nothing to really see there. Remote support about phone. Okay, now this one is the, let's see, da-da-da. Uh, yeah, Android 11, Samsung One UI 3.1. Okay, so you're not getting Samsung Four, uh, One UI Four skin. <laughs> you're not getting, you're not getting the Samsung Four skin, and you're not getting Android 12 just yet. But for 250 bucks, who's really complaining? Okay, so that's pretty much it for the settings. Now, when you swipe up, you do have all of these apps I had open in the background. And watch this. Say we had settings, we could do the same thing. Open this up as a pop-up view. Okay, now we can move this around just like on your $1,000 Galaxy and check this out. You can minimize that little bubble just like that, just like all of the other Galaxy phones. Now I can swipe over to my edge panels. I can open up YouTube. Okay, I can open up settings again. Can minimize that. We could do some split screen multitasking. Okay, now you notice that some things do take a little bit longer. Let's go over to uh, YouTube Music on the bottom. And there it is. So we got YouTube on the top. We can play some music on the bottom. Split screen multitasking, no issues at all. Exit out of that. Exit out of the little bubble. Bang, there it is. Now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com.
Shoes is in rare form. Me and Shoes got a little beef lately. You know, we've been trolling each other. All right, this is the full website. Shoes kind of mad because I didn't do her birthday party video yet, but I got some dope gifts coming for her on Monday. So I'm trying to do Shoes birthday party uh, next week. All right, Shoes, you're going to be happy. All right, so just calm down. Don't think I forgot about your birthday. All right, we, we, you know, me and you, we, we here. Calm down. All right, so this is the full website, 90 hertz refresh rate. I hate to sound like a broken record, but again, this MediaTek processor is really performing better than the Exynos chipset. It really is. Now watch this. This is the full website. Let's uh, do some split screen multitasking again. All right. <laughs> Come on, bro. Damn it. Let's do YouTube on the bottom. Okay. So there's YouTube, Apple on the top. Just like that. Multitasking like a beast. All right, so now let's um let's check the speakers. Now this, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, let's do this in real time. Why not? Now one bottom firing speaker. Let me pull up my test video. Okay, here we go. Now of course I got the official flossy card of sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier. Let's um get full screen on this one. That's max volume. Not the loudest speaker in the world. That's a nice way of saying semi trash. Okay. It's, 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 it's kind of it's kind of trash, but check this out. If you cover up the bottom, you don't hear nothing. But for 250 bucks, you really can't complain. You can watch a video and you can hear the sound. Okay. This is right on par for what you would pay for on a $250 phone. If you paid 250 bucks and your speaker sounded like this, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier, you really can't complain. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna gripe at the, about the speakers at all. Now, I really do wish it would have had dual speakers, even one cheesy speaker at the top. That would have made it sound a little bit better, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's Let's um, let's take a look at this display. Now, the display, definitely not the brightest. Okay, let's get full screen. You see the viewing angles kind of disappear when you move it. <laughs> some people ask me, why, why do I test viewing angles? This is viewing angles. When you go like this, you see how now you can see the table. It just disappeared like that. That's not great viewing angles, okay? That means you gotta pretty much be looking directly at the phone to get the full uh, enjoyment of the display. If you move down a little bit, bang, you see everything else behind me. 250 bucks, again, it is what it is. Not bad at all. Okay, so you get this phone to your moms or your pops, your daughter, your son, you give it to your grandmother. And they're sitting around watching YouTube videos like this. They're going to love it compared to the flip phone that they had or whatever little bullshit TCL phone that they had from years ago. This is going to seem like a giant upgrade. Okay, this is actually pretty good. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Shoes! Bro, come on, Shoes. Shoes, you're gonna make me. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if we can. Bro, Shoes. All right. <laughs> you see, I had, I had to get my voice a little bit more stern right now. All right, here we go. Okay, a little, little, little rap right there. Here we go. All right, let's try the 360s. Okay. Now, gaming is important on a $250 phone because you buy this for the kids. This is what they're going to be doing all day. All right, instead of doing any schoolwork, they're going to be like this. All right, they're going to be in the back of that cheese bus doing 360s like that. Bang, there it is. But you see, no lag so far. Look at that. Bang. Now, if you could play 
Asphalt 9 on your Android phone with no lag or no hiccups, that means you can play any game from the Android market comfortably. Okay, comfortably. That's why I use this game to test out gaming because it, this is a heavy graphic intensive game doing those 360s. I've actually seen it pixelate and lag on uh, the pe uh, extreme peasant phones, but this phone, it runs it pretty good. I right, no issues at all. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. You got a few different shooting modes. You got portrait mode. You can change your bokeh effect. You got photos. Now there's no wide angle, but you can zoom all the way up to 10 times. You got video. Now video, no 4K. You got 1080p at 30 frames per second, or you got HD at 30 frames per second. That's pretty much it. And for more, you got pro mode, panorama, food, and macro. Now in the daytime, on a bright sunny day, you can get some decent pictures, but the worst thing about this camera is the night photos. All right, the night photos is potato. Okay, as Stephen Colbert would say, it's potato. In the daytime, not bad. Nighttime, potato. Take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. So now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you're spending 250 bucks on the phone. Can it survive a regular day? The answer is yes. Watch this. Now you wake up in the morning. There's no always on display. So you're gonna have to physically pick up your phone. But once you pick it up, double tap on the screen. Look at that. <laughs> you got face unlock and you got the fingerprint sensor. Which, look how fast that fingerprint sensor works. Bang. Okay, and if you want to enjoy your live wallpaper, enjoy it for a minute, then use your face unlock. Bang, there it is. Okay, next, let's check the weather. Now, it is raining out here. Okay, 46 degrees, light rain. Okay, let me pack my umbrella. Now, let's do a little bit of work. Now, since it's Android 11, I don't have my favorite Android 12 widgets, but I do have all of the standard Android widgets. So, I got my calendar. I can take a look at that real quick. Got some music playing. I have some K Flock. <laughs> I've been on some Bronx drill shit lately. Okay, let's go to uh, Gmails. Let's do a little work emails. Let's go to Ultimate Is. Okay, let's see what Ultimate Is is talking about. 
Okay, save up to 400 bucks. Now, I never reviewed these earbuds. They just look a little bit weird to me. So, of course, why you acting weird to me? No thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of y'all know what that is. Why you acting weird to me? All right, so no thanks. So that's how it's going to look like when you're going through your work emails. Okay, let's go to see something we got here. Okay, financial. Let me check my financial buzz. Okay, that's it. Scroll through all your work emails. 90 hertz scrolling, uh, 90 hertz refresh rate. So look at that scrolling speed. Pretty dope. Exit out of that. That's my work segment of the day. Now watch this. Just in case I do have to come back to work later, we'll open this as a pop-up. We'll minimize this. And we'll leave that as a bubble. I right, just in case I gotta go back to work at any moment. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay. Okay, let's go to mentions. Let's get a fresh refresh. A fresh refresh. Let's see what's going down. Okay, holy crap, got this today. The Galaxy Book. I got one too, bro. I got mine today too. Okay, matter of fact, smells like luxury. Somebody said it smells like luxury. Okay. Now, I actually got one today. That's my next video. All right, I'm doing that video tomorrow, y'all. Galaxy Book. Okay, we're going to get into that. I want, I want to reply to this. So what I'll do is I'll actually, let's go ahead and take a little screenshot. Okay. So I'll do a little rectangle. Okay. Hit done. Let's get and save that. So I'm going to save that in my gallery. And later on, I'll uh, reply to that. Okay, so this is how your tweet's going to look. Okay, which uh, which creator made you smile today? Flossie Carter. Now, look, the, the comments like that, comments like that, they they they, they touch me right here. Y'all right? they, they, can't see me behind camera, but I'm patting my chest. They touch me right here in the heart region of the thoracic cavity. <laughs> I'm feeling bad goofy today, but comments like this, man, this is why I do these videos. And this is why I don't rush and give y'all a quick 10 minute commercial video. I try to make my videos a little bit longer with a little bit more entertainment value in it, a little bit more, uh, make it a little more personal. We get to know each other. And if I can make y'all smile at any point in the video, my job is done. And this person said I made them smile. I'm gonna go ahead and actually reply to that. Thanks. With a little, uh, let's do a little happy face emoji. Hit reply. Now, I don't usually reply to, to shit like that all day long, but that was a nice comment. I right? uh, no no hasha no uh, no the name is no hasha none. Okay, anyway. <laughs> all right, bro, calm down. It's just one comment. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't falling in love, bro. Calm down. All right, let's see. Um, okay, UAG cases. Oh, now that looks sick. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you got your Galactus. Oh, yo, he got the Galactus with the um the Galaxy S watch. All right, that looks like the um the Galaxy S4 watch with the camo. This is pretty dope. Now watch this. We could pin this to screen. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that to the screen because I want to keep looking at that as I'm scrolling. Okay, now go down YouTube. I mean, go down um Twitter. There's my tweets. Now I can exit out of that. Now when I exit out of that, I still got that pinned to the screen. Okay, I can minimize that pin. I can open up my Gmails again, go back to work, close that back up, get rid of that picture. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. All right, so let's keep it moving. Next, let's go to uh, let's go to TikTok. Okay, now I'm gonna have to turn the volume down on this. Now this is a story. <laughs> we we still we still we still in the Will Smith incident, the Will Smith indictment. All right, shoot, check that out. All right, somebody got little kids out here bouncing around. Okay, seven years old. Happy birthday, young man. Okay, we got the extreme close-up. Back it up. Back it up, bro. Okay, you know, okay, dudes. Okay, a little bathroom activity. I, hey, I don't judge nobody. Okay, let's just, um, <laughs> let's just, you know. Okay, we, uh, <laughs> we, we, we got the culprit right here. <laughs> Yo, Will, Will, Will Smith, man, ah, you know, he, he, he's still one of my favorite actors. I don't care what nobody say. I, I'm, I'm still a Will Smith fan. I'm just not a fan of 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 uh, cornball moves. All right, that was that smack was a cornball move. I'm not a fan of cornballology. All right, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't study cornballology. You know, I'm not a cornballologist, so I tend to stay away from any cornball activities. 
but I still respect him as an actor. But that's the thing we got to remember with these actors and rappers and singers and dancers. Regardless of what they do in their personal life, that's not our business. OK, a lot of times we tend to get too invested into people. Oh, you know, they're a role model and this and that. Just like them for what they do. OK, I like Michael Jackson music, whether if he was out here, you know, messing around with little kids and going crazy, doing whatever he does. I don't care. I like Michael Jackson for the music. I don't care about what he does in his personal life. I don't even want to know. I, I, don't, I wish there's a way we could just not be so invested into the people that we like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's just it's just crazy. Anyway, <laughs> what am I talking about, bro? All right, let's go. This is um, <laughs> this is this is TikTok. I'm out here giving out life lessons, you know, giving out advice. Now this is a nice looking cat right here. This is a nice looking cat. Look at those ears. That's like um, I forgot what you kind of call. Would you call these kind of cats? Your shoes. What you what you call these dudes? Yeah? What do you call them? A lynx? That look like a lynx? If I turn the sound up, shoes probably get scared. Yeah, got you. Okay, shoes like man, please get out of here with that. All right, anyway, <laughs> shoes like man, I'm not care about no links. Bro, I'm white shoes. All right, okay, that was um, that was TikTok. Let's see anything else. Let's go to Facebook. Now, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Facebook lately. Facebook is man, getting me on some emotional shit, you know, because I got a, I had a few deaths in the family, so every time I log on to Facebook, I got to see some some reminders, you know. But okay, but this is what I like to see: Transformation Tuesdays. Okay. He went from fat to less fat. I like to see that. <laughs> Remember, you look like you look like a weight. You look this look like a weight loss ad. Remember, he said you look like a weight loss ad for before and way before. <laughs> I forgot what movie that's from. Oh boy, uh, that's a good fat man joke. You know, what I'm, I'm fat too, so I, I'm allowed to joke. It, we, it's, it's a fraternal brother of fat. The fat fraternal society of brothers, yeah. Fat. <laughs> What's the acronym for that? <laughs> <laughs> the FBS Fat Brothers Society. I'm part of the FBS, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, look, this is what I'm talking about. I got to give a big RIP right, to my uncle, who I uh, recently passed away in Africa. Okay. Uh, let's see. Zoom, 1 p.m. Celebrate rap family and friends. Okay, now look, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and take a good screenshot of this. All right. Bong, just like that, because I need to remember that. I'm going to tune into this live and share some experiences with uh, Rab. This is one of my uncles. He's a he's older than me, but not too much older than me. So we kind of, you know, a, a, well, a lot older than me. But as I'm when I'm in my 20s, I guess he would be in his late 30s. So not too old where we couldn't relate to each other. It was a cool guy, though. All right, anyway. Okay, new video alert. You got the Galaxy. Okay, this is how your Facebook is going to look. Let's Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's get, get out of Facebook, man. Fog is talking emotional. Now, let's take it over to Instagram. Okay? Let's see what's going down in the gram. All right? And y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. All right? Y'all know what kind of show this is. I'm not going to say it. Shout out to my man, Goob. All right? He makes a living exposing our, exposing these uh, influencers, quote-unquote influencers. These are uh, fitness influencers. If y'all want to get some good laughs, go to Goob. Goob underscore to you, too. And you didn't, I don't really, you didn't, if you don't really look closely, you don't realize how many people be photoshopping photos. I mean, it's really that serious. I mean, for me, if, if you, look, I'm getting old. I'm allowed to get a little bit more fat. Okay. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm enjoying life. There's no need to be photoshopping your photos. It's not, it's really not that serious. Especially half of these people that do that, they already look good. They just photoshopping it to look even better. They, you know, that's just like, wow, bro. <laughs> this dog right here, somebody got the dog eating the glizzy. All right, chill, yo. Why the dog eating the glizzy? Don't do him like that, bro. Don't do him like that. All right, Jay-Z, Pusha T, aim the rappers wear fake jewelry on the neck and wrist. Whole response to critics says he wouldn't have a career if Big was still alive. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of, it, that, okay. Little baby's discovering his watch is fake. All right, now my man fake watch buster busted the baby, but look, man, what's my theory on people wearing fake watches and all that? Bro, who cares, man? Why do be, why do I care what the next man is wearing? All right, if you want to wear a fake Richard Milley, right, instead of, actually, to me, Richard Mills, uh, and some people say Richard Mills, Richard Mills, you know, in the hood we say Richard Millies. For me, spending half a million dollars on a watch that looks like a G-Shock, <laughs> do your thing, bro. I don't watch nobody's pockets. Do your thing. 
but I would not be dropping half a million dollars on a watch that looks like a G-Shock. I would not do it. Okay, that's just me. All right, but everybody, you know, make your own decisions. My man, Fat Boy the Savage, out here roasting these uh, cats that be throwing fake badges on cars. <laughs> I'm more offended by somebody throwing a fake badge in the car than wearing fake jewelry. Go buy your fake sneakers, buy your fake jewelry, you know, to take your pictures with your fake money on Instagram, do all of that. But don't 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 disrespect the car community. I right? that, that's where I gotta draw the line, bro. Do not put an M badge on a non-M car. That's where I draw the line, bro. Okay? I will roast you for that. Now, if you wanna wear the fake Richard Mill, show me where you got it from, I might cop one too. But stop it with the fake car stuff. I right? that you know, car club dudes, we don't play that. Like, we don't play that. <laughs> no, no kidding. All right, LeBron James, the Lakers looking like hot garbage right now. Okay, look, and at any moment, I can pop, that, pop right back to my Gmail, go back to work, respond to some work emails. Look, Averex, I'm not even going to talk about Averex leather jackets, all right, because I, I, I was so ahead of the curve on this one. I bought all my old Averexes out. Now Averex back in style again. Okay, look at Snoop now. This you got to be wearing Slick Rick jewelry. That's definitely Slick Rick's jewelry. You could tell. You could tell immediately. Let's see. Now I'm down here with the Obama Wi-Fi, so I'm getting a little connection issues. It is what it is. Let's just see. We got dreadlocks on deck. Okay. Now this is a family. Uh, this is a family. That's not bad though. That is not bad at all. I meant not bad in the sense of not um <laughs> not too aggressive. All right, we got the Yoda. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram was going to look. Not too spicy tonight. Okay, it looks so you know looks like it's nice and calm. All all of the, all of my usual thoughts must be busy. Okay, as soon as I okay, a little workout videos. Okay, <laughs> workout videos. Now she now this chick right here she be wilding on the bikes. Okay, this is I like to see this kind of stuff too. Acrobatics, you know. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is gonna look. This is important. Who is this? Um Jeffrey, what's his name? Uh <laughs> Oh boy. I'm not even gonna talk about that. Rihanna on deck. Okay. I need medical attention immediately. All right, now this now when you go to an emergency room, this is the kind of quality medical entertainment. Uh, entertainment. <laughs> Entertainment. This is the medical uh, assistance that you're looking for when you go to the emergency room, fellas. I right? I said medical entertainment. <laughs> anyway, this is important though. This is regular daily activities. This is how it's gonna look like when you're using this phone on a regular basis. No issues. Okay, no issues at all. Look at this. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. I think I just seen one. Y'all seen the new Richard Mill? The samurai joint? Yo, a million dollars. All right, for this for a watch, this looks like something you get. This looks like a straight G Shock watch. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand what goes into making this, but a million dollars, bro. Nah, bro. All right, give me the Fred Millie on Amazon. I right, for sixty nine ninety nine plus tax. I rock out with that. But this is how it's gonna look like when you're doing your regular daily activities. Y'all notice no lags, no hiccups at all. So overall. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G a major go. And for 250 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, come on down, the price is right. You cannot complain about this phone. If your parents are still walking around with a flip phone or some big TCL brick phone, all right, or some some um, unknown phone that's from some company you never heard of. Some uh, what was it? What's they call those ones? I used to get a Maya back in the days. Um, <laughs> I forgot what they call them that you used to buy them at CVS on the counter. The track. If you walking around, if, if your parents are walking around with a track phone, you're doing them a disservice. All right, it's time to step their game up. It's 2022. Look what you could get for 250 bucks. Now you go to Customano Steakhouse. You can't even get a full dinner for 250 bucks. This is a $250 smartphone with a decent camera, excellent battery life. You see it for yourself, runs all the apps, all of the games. You can do all your shopping, all your work stuff with no issues, no lag, <laughs> no complaints. Okay. If your kids are walking around without a phone in 2022 and they're older than six years old, it's, you're doing them a disservice. Okay. Every kid should have a phone and they should start learning how to use a phone because this is important stuff. 
All right? That kid could save your life. You somewhere with your, with your little kid, and you fall out and hit your head somewhere. Your kid needs to know how to take out a phone and call an ambulance for you. They need, to, they need to be able to call you if somebody's messing with them. Especially if they're old enough to be outside by themselves, they need to have a phone. Your parents need to have a phone. And look, you might have the Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme, a.k.a. Galactus. You might have the big boy iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay, you might have the Oppo Find X5 Pro Stormtrooper. Whatever phone you got, you might want to have a little work phone to do all your work stuff. Have a little separate number. This might be your trap phone. I right, get your little trap on. Do your little hustling procedures. Your scumbag phone. All right, this is the perfect scumbag phone, fellas. All right, store all your scumbag photos, all your scumbag numbers. You ain't even got to bring this in the house. All right, turn this off, leave it in the car. Now, not me. I'm not into that scumbag stuff, but some of y'all out there, I got to represent for my uh, scumbags out there. Leave this in the car. Leave this at your at your homeboy's house. Leave it anywhere but in your pocket. All right, this is a nice little scumbag phone. But all jokes aside, this is a quality budget phone for 250 bucks. I cannot complain. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys left. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. It's Jimmy Rowan. It's your boy Floss on that one. Deuces. Spock here. Spock won the beam up. right now. I bought this fucking Samsung Galaxy, whatever the fuck, and it fucking sucks. I've been using fucking foot phones my whole fucking life. Maybe if I fucking went on YouTube and watched Flossy Carter, I wouldn't have fucking bought this stupid thing. Because I would have known better. Subscribe to Flossy Carter on the YouTube. He does all the electronic reviews. iPhones, Samsung's, iPads, the beach by the doctor guy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on the YouTube. The follow button on the Insta face. And the like button on the face look. And you better do that. Or we're gonna have a problem. Subscribe to Flossy Card.